Hold on, let me get some more shit. You want me to feed off of what you said? All right. Um, okay. What do you guys? So, think? so Ken, what, what's it? What's it like having having these guys on the team? What does it do for the team to have these guys have that level of success? Sure. What happens? Sure. Um, well, obviously, it, it, rise, it brings the whole team up. Uh, the whole team, uh, I believe, is is has helped these guys get to where they are, and and, and vice versa. Uh, and you know, part of the training has been a lot about how to work well together, um, how to deal with different personalities, and uh, how you can be a good teammate. So those are big things that uh, we've learned, and in turn, become a closer and tighter group. Um, we'll and so that's the stuff even out of the pool. Right. I mean, just as important as in the pool. So yeah, without yeah. a doubt, out of the pool, um, I think the group has never been tighter. Uh, we're not perfect, but uh, I think we're in a really good place and creating an atmosphere that uh, has allowed for everyone to um, push each other. And uh, you know, I think I think uh, Carson and Jake helped Adam get to where to help him bring it. You know see the possibilities, what he could do, it pushed him, and Adam, no doubt, pushed pushed these two guys. And that, you know, we obviously made success on an international level, but we also had uh, 15 other people make individual junior cuts and, and win juniors, and that has a lot to do with, with um, you know, the training and, and getting along and, and pushing each other and having a positive team environment. Awesome. So, a Adam, how's that, how's that work for you, uh, having these guys, what, what have they what have they helped you do? Um, well, I remember a couple of years ago, two years ago, uh, not this past summer, I think we were in uh, Louisville. Yeah, Louisville, we were in Louisville, and uh, I started to get pretty. I didn't even think I saw any of these guys, I was in there. And uh, I think I went like 24 or something, and I got the junior cut by like 0.01. You know, I remember coming back and they were like, oh yeah, you got the junior So, uh, so Carson, um, in Fiji, you uh, you broke Caleb Dressel's uh, 200 free national age group record. You broke Phelps's 200 IM uh, age group record. What what was that like? What what did that mean to you? Uh, how many what? The 400 IM. 400 IM. Phelps's not the 200 IM. 200 IM was my plane. Oh yeah, that too. Uh, what, what what was that like? Uh, what does that mean to you? And uh, you know. Kind of, kind of what's driving you now? Yeah, definitely. So, um, those records, like, I know it's kind of cliche to say, but even like, anytime you're mentioned in the same sense as someone like that, like, it's obviously an honor. Um, I mean, those guys, the Dressel's been kind of on the rise over the past year, but he's already done so much for the sport. Um, Michael Phelps has done more than more for the sport than anyone probably will. Um, he's changed this a small sport into something that's become pretty popular and it's definitely made it a lot faster. Um, and so to be to be where he was when he was 16 years old is definitely an honor. Um, and something that gets me excited for the future, but obviously Michael Phelps made it a lot farther than when he was 16. Um, so definitely that's More a goal of mine. Uh, yeah, there's a long way to go um, before I get anywhere close to where Michael Phelps' real achievements were. Um, and so definitely staying focused and just let this drive me and know that I'm on, I'm on a good track. Yeah. Awesome. Good deal.